This episode of the Procrastinators Podcast was brought to you by our bonus episode. Go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators and pledge $5 or more to get access to all our bonus monthly episodes. Last month's episode was Gamergate versus the 2016 presidential election. Donald and Hillary, the original Goku and Vegeta, will <laughs> unite when the world needs them most. It is the Gurren Lagan to the elections kill la kill. All of these fucking psychopathic... Ben Saintian blue pill <laughs> motherfuckers. Uh, Depression Quest. The greatest uh, yeah. indie game ever made. <laughs> Jeb was a fantastic character. I want his narrative to keep going. God tier Dorito dust encrusted <laughs> red pill motherfuckers who said, no, not our video games. You don't, don't give a matter. fuck about Gamergate, but Donald Trump, he's my dad. You don't know <laughs> shit until you hear about my boy, Ted Cruz. <laughs> That's patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Making bonus episodes so it's great again every single time. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. It's me, your host, and your boy, Ben Saint here, um, and I'm here with uh, Munchie Wears Tiny Hats. Hey, everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a gradient transparent. Let's start with the uh, break up the Ottoman Empire. It's going to be a really easy Photoshop tutorial. I'll have to explain the entire history of the Middle East first, though. <laughs> what the fuck? And we're here with Tom Oliver. I'm here talking about the topic. I also, I had Zabram earlier, so I'm going to be silly today. Let's do it. Whoa, Ooh, and silly. there's also the best guy ever. I did the mash. <laughs> I did the race war What? Mash. What is going I don't on? Know. What Come were you on, doing please. earlier, and why didn't you invite me? <laughs> and on. and in a rare twist of fate we've got lethal aurora mage can this mean that i'm not on the podcast die already i you Ooh. have to fix it you're Ooh. the master of your own meme I was, destiny i was oh, yeah, I, was, I was on the podcast like a month ago for the whole month mage you're the only female member of the pcp which means you have to mm -hmm. be here five times as often to count for anything mage, you're i haven't seen you're... you been lethal once you're a, re you're a representative for your entire gender. Um, it's all riding on you. My um, gender the is purple, is excuse you. Oh, you're the God. only the purple oh, gender on the podcast. The PCP is the most uh, gender realist podcast on the net, and we need the other side to be there as a straw man that we can defeat I, week after week after I'm week. I personally identify as very vivid aquamarine. That's true. That's true. Um... Ben, well, why don't you uh, tell us anyway, what the fuck uh, we're doing, you baby we're, boy? We're 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 talk we're talking about uh monsters, um, which we thoroughly thoroughly covered and pretty much said all there is to say about on the drawcast, the mm -hmm. ultimate no. the ultimate PCP content. Well, but it's we're the here kind of content that fucking we're matters. Saying, we're here beating, we're here beating that dead thousand, horse some more. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, but if all those words are fucking bullshit, you got to come in with some real words that are targeted, and that's what all we're we doing have to do today. All we have to do is increase the number of word count in this episode by number of pictures produced in that podcast multiplied by a thousand. We just have to talk more than that, which I think is an, an easily attainable goal. Yeah. Uh, One of you super fans, Danix Jack, count the number of words that are in this podcast and tell us if we meet it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, what happened was, was me, uh, uh, Ben, and Mage were all squibbling in our scribe den in the inner walls of Jericho, and the, ver the, and the villain thief, Nate, was peering over the, the palace walls, trying <laughs> learn our trade secrets and so he banished forever from the from the, the garden of even that is the pcp like, like adam before has tried to reverse out for a woman's drawcast, sin yeah. <laughs> he has to reverse this podcast this drawcast topic so he can get his grubby fucking hands on it. that's what's happened here today I, there was just too much too much delicious rich content within the, the the subject of monsters to just be left there in the in the in the festering dirty floor of the drawcast there's never enough monsters if you ask me so I'm I here. don't know. I don't. I don't even I, think monsters are real, guys. Ben, I don't, I don't think know what a monster is. I've never had that explained to me before. Uh, can I? Can I cut in here for a moment? I would like to describe to everyone what exactly a monster is that we're talking about. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Urban Dictionary, our old buddy, uh, tells us that a monster is nuclear horse piss sold as a disgusting energy drink. Oh, that oh is my! Oh shit! What a monster is. Yep. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, describing anything that is large. These are all part of one definition, apparently. Yeah. Uh, the creature that lives in your closet and under your bed. Okay, and then one last one. A sadistic pedophile who molests and rapes children he abducts. Mm. Whoa, I didn't these... know Nick was a monster. <laughs> none, of these, none of these descriptions describe monsters that we're talking about. Monsters today. are scary, mostly fuzzy things that go bra, and I go, ah! Monsters, I, all I, I know about I monsters, monsters are like Ooh. creatures that don't uh, no. exist. All I monsters know about are you're right. big men no. with rubber on their face. All I know about you're right monsters about that, is that they're incorporated and they're they're, oh. they're, they're, they're monsters are, are, are bourgeoisie through. fucking government fat cats who just want to subjugate the weak. All right, listen to this one more definition of monster. This one is like the third most popular. It's what you become when you break up with a girl. <laughs> what oh the my God. God. Listen to this. Man, listen to this quote. Man, we need to talk. Woman, you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's some real shit, man. That's Fuck. fantastic. Wow. Monsters are wow. fake There's things a story that there. scare me. I, I know. Much <laughs> much like Just all no fake further... things, as I exist only and, and completely within the realm of reality. Whenever I'm confronted with things that are not, in fact, real, I just mm -hmm. ca I can't contain my emotions, and, and, then, and then all my all my anger and sadness flows out of my body when I'm confronted with a fictional being. Let's all right. Let's let's go around real <laughs> quick, me. and everybody talk about either your favorite or a favorite monster of yours. The What's Slender a Man that you just is a love? monster who has tentacles, uh -huh. and he's really tall, and he has a black suit, Dude. and all the fucking other ones. Okay, Marble Hornets is the best fucking AR <laughs> creepy ARG on the planet, and all the bullshit like Tribe Twelve and fucking Everyman Hybrid. All that shit is horrible. I tried watching Everyman Hybrid, and it fucking sucked shit. I it made no sense. It was purposely just trying to be like a weird meta. It, it was fucking like. The reluctant YouTuber, but if it was a Slender Man ARG, that's what that that's what Everman Hybrid is. Marble Hornets was OG shit. Marble Hornets is fucking uh, uh fucking uh, what is uh, Alicorn Twilight Princess Sparkle mean to you? That's what that's what fucking Marble Hornets is. That's the real shit. I love Marble Hornets. Uh, Slender Man, he's not even called Slender Man that way. He's called the Operator. And you get Operator Sickness if you look at him, and the screen shakes. I have Operator Sickness yeah. whenever I get on the PCP because the PCP is just too <laughs> powerful, and it reminds me too much of Slender Man. Slender Man used to be my wife before it was cool. Has anyone, really? Is that true? Has, has yeah. anyone else seen cool. uh, Everyman Hybrid and Marble Hornets? Because I actually mm -hmm. have. I've I have seen, seen Marble no. Hornets. I, wait, no, I've never seen them, Ben. Well, I mean, besides you. <laughs> I actually see, did. I saw them thinking <laughs> that probably nobody else on this podcast would have ever seen them. I've seen no, Marble Hornets. I'm... Guys, 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 like, I, I, I knew about Slender mm -hmm. Man before it was, like, it became popular. It was just, like, around the time, bef just before it became well, kind of mainstream. And I, it was really I, cool. I was fucking post Marble about Hornets it on weekly. Reddit so I can upvote you then. God damn it. I, I was fucking Marble Hornets before it was even done. I, I was Marble Hornets before like like they even found out that like Tim was the mascot. That was I'm fucking uh, day one. I'm fucking day fucking uh, one. Pulls off mask. Uh, my face is revealed to be a hornet made of marble. <laughs> That's me. I did it. I do, am I the joke? Guys, that's good, Nate, you right? Would, you would like Marble Hornets. You would like it. Cause, would I? Because there's a bunch of fucking like. I'm googling it right now. I'm looking at the weird, spooky shit here. There's Looks a bunch of cool. shit. Oh, like I think like someone like beats a woman in it one time. Oh yeah. hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, me. I watched the video. It's me. <laughs> How many episodes, <laughs> yes, How many episodes are there? Out Marble right Hornets now? just recording. There's like 107 or something, I think. Oh okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just a, it's me in my daily life. It's just what it is. I I, uh, I, oh, I, I I caught up with Marble Hornets in one night, like like procrastinating going to sleep for like my first day of oh, sixth grade. This is a show. Is this like a TV show? No, yeah. it's it's, no, a, it's a like a web show. Too. It's, it's like a oh, it's a oh, YouTube okay. series kind of semi found footage faux documentary like guy exactly. trying mm -hmm. to document this weird thing that happens that it's, like, it's recorded in a way that looks realistic but it's totally mm -hmm. bullshit. Okay. Well, but well, how old is this it's, thing? It's very it's, old. It's, it's, it's a fictional it's a work story. Okay. It's, it's not like it's trying to trick you. It's, it's like, like it's, it's like a Blair a Witch Project well, was a yeah, YouTube was video. Say, yeah. Series. You know, that's the weird thing. I feel like a lot of people. Okay. I mean, first of all, you've got like those girls who like literally tried to sacrifice their friend in the woods to Slender Man, who is a literal who, made who, who up was fake me? internet. Who was me? Which was Munchie. Yeah. Munchie was the girl being sacrificed yeah. and the people doing the sacrifice. And Slender Man. That was a big thing. And Slender Man. Um. He's basically the Trinity. He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, yeah. sacrificing himself to himself to appease his own wrath upon the people he created. <laughs> uh, that's who Munchie is. Uh, okay, this is cool. Well, what I was gonna say is like, people really seem to like get whipped up into a storm and like take this shit seriously. 
Uh, and it's weird to me. It's weird to me that people are are so. I, I mean, it's the what's the opposite of skeptical? You know, like believers or something. Or have so much c- credulous. I guess that. Yeah, I think that's right. People like look for things to believe in like this, and I've never understood that. I guess because it's fun. I guess because it's just fun. Eggs. You well, know what else? What other reason do you need? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, is it fun to sacrifice your friend in the woods to Slenderman? Yeah, I mean, I Slenderman in a, in a way. would like you then. People like <laughs> people like spooky stories. Dude, oh, isn't that a fascinating thing though? Why do people like being? Scared? You know, I, I, I you also alive. don't quite get it. I'm not I'm not as into it as I feel like mm-hmm. mo- a lot of people are. As oh, I stated too. in the, in the ghost episode, uh, ghosts mm-hmm. aren't real, but they should be. And and, right, and, I, yeah, and I love ghosts. Rules. And and if I I pray every night that someday they'll magically become real, and I'll be able to see a ghost with my own eyes. Just like in season three of Korra, where all the Airbenders just <laughs> literally became real again. It was awesome. It was so good. What a great development. I love Korra. Uh, that's, <laughs> Me that's too. Some, that's dude. some fucking. The, Korra. I just want to put it out there. Korra is my favorite monster. She is the most <laughs> evil being who ever existed. Uh, she makes the world a worse place with her mere presence. Monsters so, don't always have to be evil, though. Yes, but like Cora Slenderman. is. Cora is undeniably yeah, evil. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm but... just making a statement. Yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah, that's true. And, and you were saying this on the drawcast too. You're a staunch defender of monster rights. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we must defend monster-free speech. It's important. P- p- people like monsters because they because they put you closer to death. And w- and what do we all want but <laughs> death? We all seek oblivion now, now blindly. Now speaking my language. Suicide. Can I quickly just Please. mention a dream I had before this podcast that has a monster in it? And I just, I just want sure. to... Sure, sure. Okay, oh. so like the... the quickly, I'll, I'll try. Okay, so the dream. Um, man-made island, and on the island is just nothing hmm. but like this big building. And I live there, and there's a mansion and other people. And slowly, one by one, people are getting murdered like in very horrible ways. You just like see like, the bodies laying on the floor and just blood everywhere. And they kept getting dragged away. And like me and the manager trying to figure out what's happening and then like i finally found out that like there's this monster here like and it's trying to kill us and uh, i was one of the few people left alive and the only reason i was left uh, alive because i, I kind of like casually flirted with the monster and the monster just snooped <laughs> away <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> i guess he didn't, he didn't like me i'm sad <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I like the monster a lot. He was really cool. He had like this skull face thing, but not like a monster, not like a human skull. It was like a, like a deer skull or something, and like these hmm. these just ju- huge claws that he would rip people up and stuff. And it was it was he looked really cool. Your I- description sounds like that anime. You know that one? It's like uh, it's called like a necromancer bought me or something. It's like about a literal slave who was bought by like this necromancer with a big skull. I, I forget. Have not seen that. You know anime. what I'm talking about? I th- uh, okay, I think- well, whatever. I think mm-hmm. I heard of something like I, I heard, yeah, Twitter talking about something Stockholm syndrome, yada yada. But no, I haven't seen that <laughs> anime. I, I yeah. should look into that. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> I I I, I I I had a nightmare as well last night where where I was on my computer and and some invisible force some some in, invisible insidious force moved my <laughs> hand for me and made me type into my my Google search bar laden with a bunch of pop up ads and, and 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 you know uh, I I tried to download various <laughs> like forty cute clickers click now on this ad and now my my my, my search bar is just filled to the brim with malware and various sorts of spyware <laughs> I I my my hand was trembling moving towards that I typed in atop the fourth wall. And I watched the newest Link Bar <laughs> video. His, his, his hideous Photoshop seeking into my fucking soul. Like, like, like he like Photoshop color burn. His face color burning my lair. Completely oh, obliterate Jesus. all all sense of like pores on my body and seeking into my into my fucking vessel. That, that's what Linkari did. You know, to me. with with a new age, with a new media platform, uh, we get a whole new wave of monsters. Out with the old Universal monsters. Now we get like the Linkaras of yeah, the world. Yeah, we, we as our as our poster child. He has, he has a magic gun. <laughs> Where did he purchase that? That is the mystery of That's, Linkar. What's the deep lore there? We have to sacrifice some virgin bringer. shit. F- fucking donate, nah, but I want donate to. to our PayPal to get us to remake all the Universal Monster movies, but with various that guy with the glasses crew members. <laughs> oh, uh, plugging real quick. Kickstarter's still happening, everybody. Please give to the fucking Radcon 3 Kickstarter. Uh, yeah. We need that money. So, so Do we not can, forget. We can dress up as monsters in real life. It, I, 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 Indeed. If, if we're close enough to Woods, Albert tend to be the Jersey Devil on film. That's a promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Ba- back to Slender Man. Ben, wh- what mm-hmm. did you think of Everyman Hybrid compared to Marble Hornets? I didn't watch that much Everyman Hybrid because it wasn't 
that good. Yeah, hmm. it sucked. It was it was <laughs> fucking it was horrible like like meta bullshit. It was fu- it was fucking like dude, Homestuck is so meta. I love accents. That's what that's that's what Marble Hornet. That, I don't uh, know. That's what uh, Everman uh, Hybrid. Uh, Marble. Was. I mean, Marble Hornets had some intrigue, like the the barn and stuff. Well, yeah, uh, no, Marble know. Hornets I, was, is Kino. I barely remember anything from from a uh, Everman Hybrid. At first, I thought that it was like. At first, I thought that it was kind of funny that it was framed as they were making a YouTube show of yeah. some other kind that became a Slenderman thing yeah. because Slenderman was there. But yeah, he, that didn't carry it for very here, long. Here, 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 let me explain Everyman Hybrid to you. So the, the gimmick of the <laughs> channel is that it's these like like three like bros making like a fitness channel, and then like like episode Hell two, yeah. Slenderman is is like just awkwardly put into like the background of videos, and then uh, they're <laughs> like. We were making a Slenderman ARG, but now Slenderman is real, and he's really oh, trying no. to kill us. Yeah. Oh, I forgot they went about too far. that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Not not great. A fucking a fucking pitiful display. Everyman hybrid. Fucking. You know they come probably on got the like PCP. they probably got like <laughs> yeah they should they probably got like exposed or something like in some way they like couldn't deny that they were like doing things related to Slenderman in some way so they had to like rationalize it somehow like I would it just seems like such a dumb idea to like admit that you like were from the start doing a thing with a Slenderman yeah like it just that, seems like, counter to your narrative it like you know? acknowledges the fakeness of the whole thing oh yeah so like there's no way I'm gonna take it seriously now in, in any way and. and and then the fucking rake comes in because just like that's just like another like creepypasta TM character that we can just like like steal from another story and just put in our fucking thing because we're hacks. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking fucking of incredible. like weird YouTube characters and stuff, uh, have you guys heard or seen Poppy? Poppy, yes, yes. I, yeah, yeah, Poppy, Poppy is a good monster on YouTube. Yeah. She's interesting. <laughs> I was gonna. Say. I don't know what her end game is. I guess release albums and just be a weird O on the internet. Um. Yeah, she's cool. She's if you guys haven't active. seen Poppy, I, I don't think she's active anymore. Is she? No oh, she's no, 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 she, she just released an album. She came online just the other day. Is oh. Poppy like a monster? Pop- no, I mean Pop- Poppy is a weird, creepy, semi-robotic, possibly internet creature. Maybe a clone. Mm-hmm. Uh, M- Mage, why don't you explain Poppy? Yeah, like Mage, right. well, I, I, yeah, I don't, don't want to like. I I've seen some of her videos and I don't know what she is, but I kind of like the associations with like, Illuminati, the devil, and the possibility that she's mm-hmm. actually oh, okay. like a clone of herself. Well, 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 Nate, I'll, 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 or Ben, I'll explain sure. it. Sure. You're both the same to me. Uh, <laughs> Poppy is this uh, fake pop star on YouTube who makes music videos, like, you know, top 40, like, Katy Perry shit. But yeah. uh, uh, she has sinister undertones and in between music videos, which have, you know, they're just like, fucking what I get fucked in my ass, you know, stuff like that. Like, put your hooves up. Uh, but I in, don't know about, well, okay. But in between those, she has, I guess I would call them, like, vlogs. They're not like like hey YouTube. They're like her staring at the camera and kind of yeah. weirdly, oh, like a... childishly mumbling about things and about how she like she like loves her like Lord and and she makes. A I bunch think of there's like five like five or stuff. six minutes of her just saying that she's poppy and like ASMR and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah yes, yeah, that's right, like that. that's right. Mm-hmm. She's like weird creepo ASMR in a, in a way, but mostly she's just uh, obviously a bizarre freak and mm-hmm. in, in the best way. I like her a lot. Uh, I. I really wonder what the end game is here. Mm-hmm. I, I think about that all the time. Like, what is the point of all these? Well, I it, guess the medium is the message, I suppose. Just doing these weird videos are just fun for these people, I assume. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it says know. something about fucking Illuminati and fucking, you know, like celebrities and shit. But fucking. I, I don't know if there's like a message per se. I think it's just it, like art, just like uh, displaying this idea of like, you know, celebrities being like aliens and shit. Like yes, that's, that's, it's that's definitely that. Yeah, it's definitely an artistic piece. The character of Poppy, which yeah. I is really cool. I'm watching one called Dracula Glam right now. Um, it's sick as shit. She's just like gnashing her teeth with these fucking vampire fangs, and for no reason. Well, this spooky ambient music plays, and then she's opening a box called Nightmares <laughs> at the end of the video, and she's bashing it with a fucking bat. Mm-hmm. That, that, they're Incredible. heating up. Incredible. That's what I saw. That, that, that's fucking <laughs> yeah. heating up. The, the stakes are really getting raised on the <laughs> Poppy show. Um, yeah, yeah, she's a fantastic monster of the internet. Let's I love her. Let's talk about the greatest villain and monster of all time, Binge Dr. Rand. Wolf! Dr. Uh-oh. Wolf works too. 
I feel like, I feel like they're intertwined, Ben Drown and Dr. Ruffle. I feel like they're collaborating. Who is Ben Drown? I don't know this Ben Drown. Do you not know Ben Drown? It's the creepy pasta. Nate, you don't know fucking anything about anything. It's, it's, the, it's oh. the Zelda. It's the Zelda guy, right? Yeah. I feel, it's I the feel Zelda. Like this is fucking turning Jesus into a creepy Christ. pasta podcast than a monster podcast. Uh, Majora Mask is so creepy, you guys. Like, <laughs> why is the Statue of Link so weird? What the fuck? No, though? it's fucking dope. Those are gay. I'm saying it right now. I'm too old for creepy pastas. Tom, no one's old <laughs> enough for creepy pastas. We're all scared of them. <laughs> the worst. I hate. Dude, but them dude, all. I swear, my dad works at GameStop and got me a fucking copy, a cursed copy of Pokemon Black, oh, like the original guys, one for Game Boy guys, Color, yeah. the guys, real guys, one. Guys, 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 Lavender Town. Guys. Okay, go ahead. Speaking go ahead. of monsters, and Nate just mentioned Pokemon are mm. monsters. I love um, Pokemon. <laughs> the only monsters that I acknowledge oh, is real. Right. <laughs> Po- Pokemon pock- are real. Haven't monsters. you played Pokemon yes. Go? Then you disgust me. You, you know, I played She's Pokemon right. Go before it was cool, meaning as soon as it came out and everyone immediately <laughs> started playing it. <coughs> but the real question is, do you continue to play it now that it is no longer cool? I, That's the real test. I'm ashamed to admit. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Oh, never again. We- exposed. Get a mind level, <coughs> I still play it. I um, not, I, I haven't been forever. Po- Digimon Pokemon are, also cool. are pretty sick. Now there's though. all these. Now there's all these weird new Pokemon. Um, Yo, Kai, what the shit. fuck is that? Back in my day, Pokemon used to make sense, like fucking Charizard. It was a dragon. Gen that one that makes alive. sense to me. There, there were dragons. There was, there was a crow. What even is that? No, there was you, a what, of... what is this? A bird? Get out of here! In the day, <laughs> there were only realistic monsters in Pokemon: dragons, rocks, <laughs> uh, rocks, turtles, black. With People, stuff. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know Mr. the classics. The exactly. Blackest. Drawing inspiration um, from the real world. <laughs> Digimon are also cool monsters. I love Digimon. Yeah. Oh, Digimon fucking suck. Digimon no. are shit. No, I'm gonna fight you, Nate. You better hope you never make me because I'm gonna punch you. I'm fucking Skull Greymon. I've got like a thousand skulls attached to my fucking face with a fucking gigantic cannon, and I'm like, we are like dragon dinosaur. What is that? It's the most complicated design I've ever seen in my fucking life. There was, there was, there was Machine Dramon and, yeah. and Metal love, and, oh. and Mecha, Mecha, Hyde, Mecha Dragonmon and Puppetmon and Piedmon. And Piedmon was a clown. You, you can't argue with that. Train, what dude. the fuck the are you people talking about? He was the about? strongest enemy in season one, and he didn't fuck around. What? No. What Ooh, d- are Devil you now discussing? Wait. Are these politics? Yes. The politics <laughs> of politics. the digital world. Lapmon <laughs> well, is gay. best Digimon. Do we, do we impeach Piedmon or not? Lop-mon. He's a clown, but he's keeping shit Let in me, order. Mage, who, I want to Google this. What is it? Appmon? Lopmon. It's it's like a How brown does... bunny with a horn. Lopmon's super cute. Wait, you he mean low pony? Fuck- no, no Lopmon. Yes, yeah, so low punny we're talking. Lopmon. It was low punny before low punny even started. N you fucking mongoloid. <laughs> okay, I got it. Oh, he's pretty cute. Yeah, and uh, he a, and he has like light. a dual evolution like he can he like an evil side and a light side. And Well, it's just it's that is that it's fucking just like mage. Is that <laughs> mage. <laughs> Guys, look, look at this guy though. <laughs> Incredible. Do you Oh not, my do- god. Do, do you guys what? do you guys know how how Digimon was founded? Do you, do you know, do you know the, the origin story Nate, behind? You need you need to you need to no. look up Lady Devimon, then you'll be converted to. Uh, to we we all know how Pokemon oh. started. You, you, you know uh, the 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 creator of Pokemon uh, Shigeki uh, Miyamoto was touching some bugs. But do you know how uh-huh. Digimon was made? <laughs> Digimon was was you know you know dur- during the Japanese air raids. You know you know you well know, mm-hmm. well Japan was getting bombed to shit. The creator of Digimon, uh, James Digimon, was cr- was was <laughs> fucking uh, sliding out of. Of his war torn country, he, he, he his his home roof collapsed up upon him, and he was oh, crawling shit. out like inch by inch, and and he stumbled and staggered, uh, a chest ripped completely open out, out of his Japanese city, and wandered oh, into shit. the nearby mounds. In inside inside a pit a thousand trucks long, he he descended and and saw not one but two computers, and thought I can make a I can make a game out of this, or or <laughs> or, or whatever Digimon is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it sounds like fake story. news to me. It was, and then he heard those. He heard that ancient American war song. Hey, got yeah, two yeah, bomb, hey, yeah, got oh, a bomb, yeah, Japan, hey, yeah, bomb oh, yeah. Japan. We're champions, and he was like, "Wait, I'm James Digimon. I can work with this. <laughs> I can make something happen here." <laughs> yes. And the rest was history. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. 
incredible. I'm glad we solved this crisis. When, when, uh, when Lewis and Clark were, were doing their expedition <laughs> of, of the Pacific Coast, they came across a, a, a wandering tribe, unlike any any engines they had seen before. They were all playing their Tamagotchi TM uh, <laughs> around their circles, screaming I mean, various things. Back, back in those days, yeah. you'd have to get a literal chicken to lay an egg that you would carve <laughs> into a Digivice. Yeah. So that's how you would connect with your fucking Digimon. <laughs> Uh, things have evolved since then, obviously. But you know, just say things have obliterated them all and brought back the new technology to their own land. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Digimon for you. We've solved uh, it. Uh, 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 d- yeah, d- Digimon uh, superior to Pokemon. This is the superior franchise. Okay, well, here's proof that that's not true. Because look at the screenshot Nate just put in. That's proof that Digimon <laughs> is shit. How dare you, Munchie? <laughs> Get. A fuck. You're gonna. He's, he's wearing a little. Look at these, he's look at these colors. colors. I'm gonna have to prove Stupid. all of you wrong. Munchie, sh- shut up. But that color is decidedly unpopped. You. But it's poppable. You and you know he's about to pop it. <laughs> okay, he's about to pop fair it fair and lock it. I'm gonna fucking pop beautiful. his head with one and you're finger. All wrong. No, no. He's look. fucking gray and brown. I, whatever. He's boring. It's his uh, pink but and no. brown. As bad. Look, look. You can think whatever you want about Lotmon, but let me let me ask you this. is great. Like. How can you disagree with that? That's fucking retarded. That's the that's the worst thing I've ever seen no. in my life. That is the antithesis of quality. Of L- Lady the, Devimon. The best. Um, her upper arm reaches her hips. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, it's that's pure, just how they roll the digital world. Pure, they were able to digitally enhance and enhance and enhance the length of that arm. This looks in the like, digital world. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ben, that's actually, like, correct. Look at this other perspective of this fucking character. Her arm is decidedly weirdly huge. It goes to her fucking ankles. Um, all right. Well, it shows what I know. <laughs> Yeah. Her, yeah. Jesus Christ! Nothing. Enough! Enough Digimon! No, please. no, no! Let's this character looks like, not, like a I'm grim. Not, I'm just getting started. Th- th- this character <laughs> looks like a, like a like a discorded grim dark saber spark. That's what that like human. <laughs> like a humanized that's, that's clearly rule the best thing in the world. Grim dark so saber you're, spark. You're just you're just proving my point right now. <laughs> well, listen, guys. Okay, the Digimon are really cool and all, but but and and yes, Digimon were the original monsters. But frankly, I'm a little more interested <laughs> in talking about. Like the people who were inspired by characters like Lady Devimon as the as the monsters oh. of the modern age, a la uh, Adolf Hitler, for example. I, 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 I like thought you were going to say women, which I was going to say was definitely the oh, worst monster of all time. Oh, I should have gone with time. women. I, I would well, like to too. nominate a group mm-hmm. of monsters, like 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 I would like to nominate Ada Monster as the like number one monster in, in, in all categories, okay. in all fear, in fields. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. Here's here's my nomination. Every creature in the ocean. Every single Ooh. one of them are fucking monsters. The deeper you go, the wor- uh. the more monstery they are. Every single creature in the ocean mm, mm. is despicable, nihilistic. <laughs> uh, they're pragmatic. They're capitalist. They're fucking. They're all of the things that you don't want a thing to be, and they're all of them, and yet still even more. They, they their their scale of monster to priest is full mm-hmm. monster. Full monster. <laughs> They're so creepy. Look, look. Just Google like ocean, and you'll see shit you don't want to see. Their Merkabas are one hundred percent inverted. It's a nightmare down there. The, the, I don't, I don't believe. Do I don't believe in anything below sea level. Yeah, I don't either. They're all, I've never look at this. This yeah. is one. The, this is one of the well known ones. This is one of the ones that, like people like think like, oh yeah, Lo- I, like, I know what that is. <laughs> look at this. I link below to small. Look oh. at that. Oh. What the yeah, fuck okay. is this? Okay. It's a demon. Sharks That's are for good sure boys. A demon. Shut up. That's a he, demon. Well, he looks like a he looks like a medium boy at best to me. He's a, he's a good boy. <laughs> he will know. he will murder you though no, if he has the chance. No. But what if he did? <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I mean, sharks can we afford like to human... take that chance? Not, 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 not only are, are there hideous monsters such as octopi and starfish in the ocean, there's also like the octopi. lowest rung on the PCP iceberg. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the that PCP thing. fan iceberg, yes. Is that a dolphin oh. or a beluga whale? It's something? the lowest rung, Nate. That's a beluga. Okay. But yeah, yeah right. I was going to say beluga. Ooh, 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 I love Lilymon. I love Lilymon too. She's Lilymon so was great. Um, oh, um, I also Jesus really like Garudamon. Garudamon was my favorite ultimate, and Lilymon. But that was, was like second. he's like a Native American bird-looking dude, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of. He actually looks exactly like Blaziken in every way, only better. God, except uh, ten yeah, years he's before. Because yeah. also he's got he's his design is so much more busy. He's literally got like a fucking bandana and like all these weird marks, including some fucking 
kanji and a weird helmet with like lines on it. What the fuck is going? That's too much. It's too I'm much. Getting, like, I'm getting scared by ocean things. I'm on Google shit. Image. I'm getting scared by ocean. Guys, no, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Guys, okay. Sequoiamon for itself. best girl though. H- who? Sequoiamon. Hold on. Sequoia mod. Dude, the ocean itself, not even the creature, yeah. the ocean. You you fucking go to the seafloor and you're crushed by pressure's grave. The, the geothermal chemistry of life okay, beneath Munchy, the deep and look blue at sea is uh, fucking I'm with Munchy, though. boiling me. It's the boiling ocean, me. The ocean, the ocean itself just, is the worst monster of all. Yeah. Yeah, I was I just going to say, just like how uh, the skin is the largest organ on the human body, even though that's a lie and I don't believe it for one second. <laughs> uh, similar, the ocean is the largest monster in the I world. Uh, the Do you know what yeah. comes from the ocean, though? The king of the monsters himself, Godzilla, the greatest True. monster of all time. Uh, Correct. Tom's Destroys your cities, fucks your bitches, <laughs> and doesn't give a shit. The greatest monster Ever. Okay. Does here's, Cthulhu here's a real question. Live in the ocean, or am I wrong? He does. He lives in like an well, alternate dimension, there. but comes from the ocean in the the short story, mm-hmm. The Call of Cthulhu, where they're running away from the island, and Cthulhu himself rises from the ocean and is undescribed, is a... but strikes fear into the hearts of all who witnessed it. I have heard it been described as a a like a water elemental guy like a water kind of i mean it's all made up bullshit so it's all fan fiction monster so he brought us tentacle porn so therefore not a monster but a (laughs) god for all of us to worship it's true uh, Lovecraft did some good stuff. The I, I are really love Cthulhu's favorite. appearance in the Milo Pony fanfiction, Milo Pony, the Nay of Cthulhu. I really like that one. I, I, think <laughs> yeah, learn I don't even know if you're bullshitting because that. that sounds 100% uh, You good. can read that, the full length of that on, uh, uh, on, on, on Tom's fanfiction, on fanfiction.net. You can read that all there. Gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah. Um, listen, guys, this is all good and all, but here's a serious question. I want to add this is a serious question. No. Can <laughs> a human be a monster? Yes. In whatever yes. way you define it. Yeah. Okay, are we all just going to say yes? Because, like, what does a monster all, actually mean? All, all it a takes is, is you just, just got to put you just gotta put chopsticks in your mouth and stick the, the top up your nostrils. <laughs> yeah, and then, then you're a monster. There you go. You've left your, your humanity behind. And <laughs> okay, well, you've, you've become something greater. Here's why I'm curious. Are you trying it's like, to get okay, some okay. intellectual discourse out of this shit show of a podcast N- right now? Maybe. All I right. would never attempt that. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so, like, no person ever thinks that they're a villain, right? So, like, in their own mind, they think they're doing, like, what's best. I mean, some people are psychopaths, so, like, they're the exception. But, like, a guy like Hitler, for example, thought he was doing what's best for, like, Germany, probably. A- as uh, does the PCP. As does the... We'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> Uh, so, like, he probably would not call himself even evil, you know, let alone a monster. And, of course, most of the world would disagree, obviously. Uh, no. But, like, most. I don't know. Does that does this, that count? This comes does down to, your, to whether you think there's a subjective or objective view of reality. If you I say there's so. an objective morality and objective standards, then, of course, Hitler's a monster and he was just uh, completely off his rocker mm-hmm. but if you're a postmodernist kind of guy who's like everything's subjective like no from hitler's perspective he wasn't so he wasn't and there's no way of judging it there's no way of saying what a monster is or isn't because there's no objective standards anyways and well there's no untenable. objective standards so there are consent there's consistent standards there's there's consistence well, whatever that word is however you say that one i mean there's a, a lot a lot of though. people think he's a monster so for all intents and purposes he's well, basically uh, objectively a monster yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying. That's a fair point. Well, that just but, means uh, that ev- that just means that individual people think that he is. I think that there a are lot of them do, though. The a, a, a lot of them, most of them, in fact. Well, I mean, it, it's all it's all the individual's opinion, right? If, like, the sure, individual. but there are multiple individuals. There yeah. is no actual like thing that is the collective will. It's like it's not actually a real thing. It is it's just a force kind of in society. Unless and you're you know, that's playing fine. Playing Guilty Gear where there's the universal will, which I'll talk about in my lecture at Ragcon oh, 3. Excellent. Fun the Kickstarter. <laughs> Fun the Kickstarter. Link in the description. <laughs> what what do you mean there's no force like like there's no like like the group I mean, okay, does well, not it's... think something because it, it's not like a real thing. But a lot of, if if a lot mm-hmm. of people individually think something and those are the people in society, then it's not well, okay, here's, weird to here's say an that easy most way to think of society it. thinks some way. Here's an easy way to to kind of like refute that. It's just like okay, so let's say like literally everyone on Earth believes things are a certain way. Then let's just say that that whole population of humans just gets like dropped Rick and Morty style into a like galactic population, and now there's like trillions and trillions of other people 
who just totally believe that morality works a different way. So now what was the majority opinion is no longer the majority opinion within like the actual population of like sentient beings. It's so, like in, in an instant you can like change how morality works like on a on the you know on the large scale. So like it doesn't actually it doesn't like scale morality that kind of approach. Isn't like static it evolves with uh, the society so it and I don't know, adapts I don't know what you're trying to prove with that like uh, well like, i'm trying to prove that there is no actual thing that is like a collective will it's it's that, that that is just the sum of the individual people's will and like those are the things that one should try to change and that's what actually matters like, so like if one well, yeah an example yeah, yeah. like back in very old medieval days or whatever uh, mm-hmm. people from Europe when they were fighting people from where do elephants come from Africa or whatever like, and, <laughs> yeah. like uh, they saw, yeah, people, yeah, um, they saw elef- elephants and they were like oh shit monsters but then you know they gained right. knowledge about the topic and it turns out elephants are good boys not monsters that's true. The, the whole whether or not it's a monster thing applies to animals just as well as it does to human beings. Mm-hmm. Hashtag elephants are not monsters, everybody. Stop the stigma. End this hate campaign. <laughs> Hashtag giraffes are monsters, though. Have you ever seen a giraffe <laughs> fight something? It's fucking brutal. It does I've not I've seen it every back. day of my fucking life. They it's like it's savaged by action giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite his em- emaciated body, he mm. still retains 90% of his full fighting power. You can't, you, can't, uh, you can't get rid of that fighting instinct. It's Demon that's right. That, that scrappy he's sacrifice his, his, his body may cheer it, but his spirit shan't. HIV. Indeed, indeed. That's why he continues to place well in the PCP Royal Rumble. He just that's just... true. God, I can't <laughs> wait for another fucking Rumble so we can have Action Draft be back in the ring. I can't fucking wait. And watch all my fucking characters get destroyed instantly yeah. again, as yeah. they always do. Why? What did I fucking do? Okay, yes. well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Fucking I'm donate! cheat. Donate to the Kickstarter, everybody. Uh, oh God, what else is the going rake? on? I, don't, I felt like the the rake. What is this rake? You mentioned that before, but you Jesus didn't describe Christ, it. Jesus Christ, dropping. I'm so glad you you weren't hosting this one because you don't know fucking anything. Apparently, I don't. I don't. I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my rake discourse for the creepy episode because because evidently that's all I I'll, that's all the things oh, I have to say about monsters is from creepy Okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, oh, by the way, quick point as to why objective reality is true. Uh, it is uh, objective, uh, uh, what was the word? Morality is true uh, to what someone was saying before. It's because there are baseline fundamentals that we can understand. Consciousness is real. As far as we can tell, consciousness is at least real for you. And for there are things that purposes. are. And I know this is going to sound like some fuzzy language, but we can generally all agree on things that are largely true, even if there are some exceptions. Fuzzy. Things like. Things like. Too fuzzy. Like, Life is generally preferable to death. Too and fuzzy, you Pleasure fuck. is generally preferable to pain. Generally. But, but, but we know these things are, like, that is, it's that is true. It's all just a matter of opinion. No one actually... It comes actually... down to the individual to decide what is preferable. Okay, but but if things apply to, like, 99.9% of the population, that, is it really correct to say, like, that's, 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 that's what I was just population. saying. Just throw it out the window. That's what I was just saying. There's nothing That's outside exactly of the person's preferences that is made real by those preferences. Okay, but is okay. Well, for example, Newtonian physics is not 100%. It does not fully map out reality, but we still use it practically to determine all kinds of stuff about the real world. So? It's super useful. So, in the same way, more, our moral systems are maps to optimize the way we want society. Well, to Newtonian go. physics isn't real. I well uh, yeah I mean that that is true it is it is um, just a way of um, understanding shit no that is not you, completely accurate guys you, guys, th- guys that's that's not guys. fucking even real because what? physics is mapping out a thing that exists in the world and guys. like morality is mapping out what people think ben. about ben. consciousness ben. And guys, it's, all, guys. it's all preference guys. it's it's, 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 mage, it's opinion mage. all the way what? down question like it's not true. would you prefer to get punched in the face or get a, or get a free milkshake. Um, milkshake, but, th- but that's just that's just us. I might if I was if I was feeling really bad about myself. Pain, I might want to get punched that. in the face. Okay, what well, if a bunch I'll of bullies were coming face, to beat then. you up? Good. What if a Thanks. bunch of bullies were coming to literally uh, beat you up real, real bad, and your friend said like, "Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch you in the face so that uh, you look like you've already been beat up, and they won't beat you up even worse." And in that case, getting punched in the face might be a better idea than getting a milkshake. Yeah, but the, you're, changing no, 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 the, you're changing the situation. Yeah. Well, what is the situation? Well, you didn't you get, get contact, punched in so the face. You, you get an offer, get punched in the face, or get a free milkshake. 
Okay, but the whole this doesn't actually prove anything. This is just showing what we personally want. The real the monsters are people saying. who wax philosophically Look, for I, no I reason know. on podcasts. I, you're all monsters. You're I hate you. Tell me you're that, fucking that, like, gay. general preference this topic implies sucks. some kind you're of all greater truth. Stupid. Uh, there, there the, is this topic larger has been truth. Ruined. To be you guys, here. you just, we just, it was gonna be a podcast where we have fun talking about monsters, and now you're just like, I'm having well, a great time. I Nate's the, the real monster, monster here. Philosophical <laughs> insights of who's a monster and who's not. But that's essential. Uh, you can't describe something unless you know what it is. You know that's what? You know important. what's a monster? Monsters anime? are like porn. You know Let's them when about you anime. see guys, them. God damn guys. it! Let's talk anime. about anime. It's the truest it? monster. Okay. Why? Because tell me why. Beca because Monster Musume exists, and I <laughs> <laughs> was Christopher Columbus a monster? Was Hitler yes. a monster? I don't know, but I know who is a monster. It's this guy. He's the Mothman. Oh, um, he's so fluffy. Look at yeah, him. Okay. I want to pet you, him. Oh, what this is the most Ben Saint image to ever exist. Is what I. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. He's um, the Mothman. He hides on bridges. He knows when bad things happen. <laughs> Oh, dude, Mothman is in fucking Castlevania. I slayed him a thousand times to get his soul. It was no, sick. Nate, that's a fucking lie. Moth no one can slay Mothman. You're a fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> what are those? What are those things? What are those things that that appear in cameras? They're like mm -hmm. rodfish or something. They're like it's yeah, like a, yeah. It's like a, it's like a bug. It's like a moth <laughs> fluttering through the camera, but like the camera extends it, so it's like this long, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. tube thing. I think they're actually called rods. I think they're like called rods. Yeah, I, yeah. Rod. They were in a JoJo I think chapter. Rods for might a while. be my favorite uh, crypto, crypto, crypto currency. Fauna. Cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, well, well, I know that rods trade exclusively in Bitcoin. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which no is why I'm trying to are. collect them so that Bitcoin I can enter their economy. Bitcoin taking a beating right now under under 8,000. Munch, can you like post a oh, rod? No. I, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh, you just read JoJo part six. No, no, no. Uh, no there's here. a part where, okay, uh, I, don't, I, I don't actually know. By the way, in case I'll, I'll, I'll post you, a picture of rods. In case any of you, you needed convincing, this is proof that the mop man is in fact real and he's not like a fantasy thing. He's real, here's proof. Okay. Um, there he is. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> the Mothman is real, everybody. Oh, no. I see no reason to doubt this whatsoever. Oh, this no, is less fluffy. This doesn't look like a moth. This looks like a bat. Um, the bat the Mothman man is, is real. <laughs> I, I'd, Mothman Debunked. is cool, but I'd like to nominate this as the best monster of all time. <laughs> this looks like Whoa, the you one. Did, that just this me. Dude, that just shit. That oh, no. You, you found that right shit. now because you were searching for Rod Monster, didn't you? That's exactly right. Because I found the same one. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay, guys. I briefly but, but touched the... about anime earlier, and I just wanted to say there's, there's a hell of a lot of like like uh, monster girls, and I want more monster boys, please. That would be nice. Yeah, okay. Just, okay. just wanted to make that statement. Also, you that people allow it. will never know the pleasure that I feel whenever mm. I go to Egypt and I plunder tombs sanctioned off by the government for being too culturally significant. I plunder them anyway outside the, the prying eyes of the government. I plunder those tombs. <laughs> I, I raid those caverns. And, 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 and I party down with the mummies, the various mummies that line the underground <laughs> uh, layers of, of Egypt. I do that's... that every single day. And that's why mummies are the number one monster because they, they are party animals. They want to get down just like I want to do. They want to get down. They want to put their hooves up and they love they love drinking booze and love fucking sluts just like I do. That's that's they, nice, okay. but they fuck the mummies. Booze, the coolest monsters organs. were these. Did anyone ever play with these back in the day? That was the Attack coolest pack. shit pack. of all. No, time. I would have loved those. No, they were like God. they were like monster trucks that turned into actual monsters. It was the coolest shit okay, ever. Okay, that is something awesome. Something looks but, something looks uh -huh. vaguely familiar. I think I might have seen commercials for them. Dude, they something were so looks vaguely legit. terrifying. They were like I'm cars saying. that like transformed into like monsters. Monsters. They have like giant mouths and they eat eight shit. It was it was fucking. Does it like cool. exude slime or something? Because I'm seeing some, some of them. Slime. Some of them do. That one did, I believe. <laughs> God, Ooh. I oh my someone God, edit up my these alley. images into the, the fucking podcast because this is going to be a nightmare. Because uh, no one can see what the fuck we're talking about. We're Let's, gonna we're giving this uh, one to this. Gib. He's Let's gonna end all this. of these for being late. I'll, 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 be I'll put all nice. these in the show notes. Click on the link in the description. You can see all of these. Okay, fantastic. Okay, uh, uh, qu here's the thing. We're doing this real quick. Let's. We're gonna go through all the universal monsters and give them a score out of ten. All right, here we go. Starting number one, Frankenstein. Zero. Six. Four. What? Frankenstein's Six. monster. Uh, four. Frankenstein's monster. Yes. Oh. Four. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna oh. If we're talking about the monster, then a ten out of ten. The monster's a good boy. I like him. He's, um, a, he's, a, he's a flesh golem. He's sick. 
I mean, uh, he's, I don't know. He, I like he, six. He, he's fine. He's a little bland. He's I, I, I never read the book. The I only played the video game. I, I, the most interesting thing about Frankenstein's monster is Frankenstein himself, who would just bring a guy alive for some reason. But okay, no, actually, Frankenstein uh, was the real monster, if I remember the lore correctly. He was no, no, the, it was the mob that was the real monster. <laughs> no, they were the truest Frankenstein monster was of all. A bit of a dick. No, ah, real monsters was the real monster. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, he's zero to ten. Count Dracula. Count Dracula. Seven. Uh, he's got a funny six. accent. I like the fact that he's a foreigner, so I can make fun of him without any uh, mm. moral, you know, <laughs> justification. Dra- Dracula is honestly more boring than. Fr- I give him a four. He's like no, boring. Dracula's great. He has fucking teeth that he makes you go bye bye with. Dr- Dracula. Dracula has to be the best monster because he's a real person mm-hmm. who really. Yeah. He's not some in fucking reality. joke. He's real. Nosferatu's are sick. I would give a Nosferatu like an eight out of the gate, but this yeah. is Count fucking Dracula. He's a he's a bitch. Uh, whatever. He's gay. Uh, the Wolfman. The Wolfman. oh, that one is like the worst one of all. Fucking zero, zero. Um, zero. No redeeming He's a furry. He's a furry. I give him, furry. I give him one point out of ten for being ten percent real. <laughs> um, that sounds good. Five. He's a little bit real, but not enough to make the cut. Five for fluff. I- I have never liked the wolf man. I'm giving him like a two. Wolf, wh- uh, what, what what is cool about him? He is a wolf. He's a fursona. He is, he he sucks. is a wolf. He is, okay, but you know how that guy is like uh, in uh, there was that one kid who's like in every way other than physical. I am a wolf. Barks. He, this guy is actually a little bit along that. He he is slightly physically a wolf as well. He, so in that way, I give him bonus is points. He and he goes a woo. He does. I like him. Uh, okay, what for some reason, <laughs> also in this line is Van Helsing is here for some reason. Oh, I love that anime. Uh, <laughs> that was a I, sick anime. I, yeah. I'm going to give him like a, uh, I don't know, he's pretty cool. I he gets a like five a just for because Helsing the anime exists because of Van. Um, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, wait, what is the real Van Helsing? Is he a real I mean, person? He's just a dude who went around killing out. monsters. That's yeah, just what so he did. Like, so he's a monster hunter, not a monster. He's fictional. Yeah, he's like, he's he's like Bloodborne, but less cool. Fake. Ooh. Ooh. But he kills the beasts. I, he's seven. He's at least a seven. I like no. him. I think he's cool. you know, monster, I'll give him some points just because all the, all the universal monsters suck, so he's getting rid of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to this. For some reason, the next one on this list is... Henry Frankenstein. Oh, that must be the guy. That's the guy who what? made Frankenstein. Yeah, I told you he's a monster. He's terrible. Well, why the fuck? I click on the link and now it says Victor Frankenstein. That's the is whole it Henry point or... of the book is that he's the real monster and the monster is more But human why than does it say Henry here and Wait, Victor yeah, on the other page? The I don't Henry? understand. Okay, don't this know. must be out of date. Okay, Victor Frankenstein. Fuck it. Uh, the guy who made it. Now, that guy's cool. He gets an eight. Is he, he such a eight. bad guy? He, he just is. wanted to do science. No, no, he's, he's I, terrible. I, I, he's he just vain wanted to be God. Selfish. How bad can he be? He didn't yeah. do nothing. He literally I, I didn't do nothing. I will not nothing. approve the slanderization of, of Victor Frankenstein. He, he's, he's, a, he's a wonderful camera operator. He went to college <laughs> for the shit. He knows what he's fucking yeah. doing. He no. can make better quality videos than we ever fucking could. He's I want to have the slanderization of Victor Frankenstein. I hate him. That's a very rude thing, and I hope, Mage, when he is our cameraman at RadCon 3, you'll be a little nicer about, you know, <laughs> what he's doing not for that us. that, Victor. <laughs> it's too late. We understand what you meant. Uh, yeah. Next boat up. Uh, the... The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. I like that one. I'm going to give him an 8. I really like him. I like the fact that he's, like, kind of a mummy, but, like, he's also invisible. There's, like, two things there. I saw okay. the movie. I'm going to give it, like, 4. He fucking sucks dick, um, and oh, I but hate really him. Song you by Queen. suck dick. Have you ever so thought I'm that what you say about people actually reflects upon you Look, as He's a only gay, so he can sneak into men's locker rooms and literally suck dick. That's his whole <laughs> end game, and so I give him, a, you know, like a, an 8 out of 10. He does deserve points for that. <laughs> exactly. I respect his gumption. Eight out of ten. His <laughs> gumption? I, 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 I was going to argue with you, Nate, but I googled the invisible man, and I can't deny what he's wearing and, the, and his body language indicates that he is, in fact, the most homosexual person I've ever seen in my life. There's nothing to argue against. He just clearly is the gayest fucking guy ever. Uh, that's correct. That's correct. Wait, he's so, like... Look, hold on. Yeah, look at, look at this fucking photo of of, of the faggot the the original faggot the faggot to end oh all man he's looking fab he's looking fab oh that's spectacular I kind of like it actually he looks cool he looks I fucking wish dope. I was that cool I'm bumping nine. him up to I'm an eight. this guy in nine he's fucking dope yeah, as hell I, and he, and he sucks so much dick I can't help but respect him 
<laughs> same, same. Uh, okay, next on the list for some reason is Elizabeth, which is Victor Frankenstein's fiance. Uh, Does anyone know anything about this character? Ten, because it's a woman, the scariest monster. Of <laughs> yeah, all. tips. Oh, oh, she there you a, go. She's a, she's a name. There you go. She has a name. You know what? Skip. I don't give a shit about her. Okay, last on the list of actual people is Igor. Igor, the freakish, good. hunchbacked, ten out of ten. <laughs> He, he was he was just a real boy trying incredible. to make a living, all right? That's right. You see, the thing that's great about Igor is that he looks like a monster on the outside because he's so weird and goofy and silly and hilarious. But on the inside, he's just the greatest person, nicest boy who ever lived. Fucking thumbs so. up if you've seen the greatest movie of all time, Igor, 2008. <laughs> If not, but it looks fucking incredible. <laughs> it's fucking dope. E- Igor 2008 is my fucking jam. E- Igor is played by John Cusack. It's, it's the universal constant. Funny and clever. Exactly. Oh, wow. Wow. Are fucking- you sure not pronounced Igor and was sponsored by uh, like Apple to promote their new line of iPods that were coming out at the time? Just sponsored that their, their new deep web service, Igor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, this this made fucking thirty million point seven uh, 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 dollars at the box office. Jesus the PCP is it, it powers before Igor. What the fuck? Powers <laughs> before him. Cryptocurrency uh, tanked when this movie came out because real <laughs> monster currency soared after Igor dropped and the everyone. <laughs> Igor, the, if you're listening to this right now, we want you on the podcast. Of all time, killed cryptocurrency. The U.S. dollar, the scariest <laughs> yeah. monster to ever live. That's true. That's true. Look how fucking look how fucking co 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 kawaii Igor is in this fucking movie. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those kawaii um, fucking whoa, Igor he's of adorable. all time. He's adorable. I love like a, him. He's like an ant. He looks like something from a bug's life. <laughs> I feel. He probably yeah, DreamWorks animate or something. Fucking Igor, if you listen to the podcast, we want you on, dude. We want you on this shit. We need. We That's need true. you. We need your raw. Okay. We got, we got and one last. Prowess. We got one last person here, and it is Mummy. The Mummy. What do we ten, think of the ten Mummy? Ten out of ten. He's my favorite. Ten. But. I, I, honestly, I think that the Invisible Man wears the bandages better, and like so. I, I, I don't mummies, disagree. Mummies don't have mm-hmm. organs and somehow still are able to function, which means I yeah, what the fuck? It's not even this, real. This monster you, doesn't watched... make things. It doesn't <laughs> look real. I was that was a compliment, you fucking slut. Also, I was gonna say Guys. the fucking mummy, the movie with Brendan Fraser was fucking sick because that like guy mummy. like fuck like bitches it. and he like summoned storms. Because like if we if we just. Guys, if we have okay. money on this list, why don't we have zombies on this list? Because well, they're not, not a universal, universal monster. Uh, yeah, okay. that's true. They're, they're that a new was, thing. But zombies was... are fair. I, 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 but zombies wait, are fucking cool. Dude. Before I'll I move on be from mummies, you kill them nice and I don't easy. Get, I don't get the appeal of the mummy. I, th- I feel ben. like the appeal of the mummy is just the appeal of, like, ancient Egyptian stuff. Yes, but, like, when exactly. I think yeah, of a mummy, yeah. there's nothing particularly Egyptian about it. Except it's just that kind it of, only it's just Egyptians a zombie. fucking did it. Yeah, it's it's, it's the aesthetic, yeah, which it's is not aesthetics. which is not true in reality. But but in, but in movie land is the only place that actually matters. And well, that is well, listen, true. listen. The real okay. There is a there is a secret monster that came out in in the wake of the mummy, and it is the realest, most terrifying monster that's ever existed. So everyone's familiar with the saga of Brendan Fraser, I'm mm-hmm, sure, who mm-hmm. has fallen from grace in the most tragic way possible. And the at, at the height of his popularity, he got a divorce, and now he has to pay these like five hundred thousand uh, dollar alimony payments to his wife and he is not getting into roles because no one wants to hire him because he got too typecast and exploded he, he burned out uh, too too hotly and too quickly uh, at the height of his career and he's starting to get a little bit of shit now but like he's totally fucking dead and the real monster here is alimony yeah, yeah, alimony yeah. is the ultimate monster it ruins great men who could have otherwise made something of themselves it yeah, is a beast like Brendan Fraser everyone's no, alimony favorite. is just a weapon Correct. the ultimate monster women yeah, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Kill them all. That's that's my stance. Uh, 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 remember, stance. kids, if you're going to get married, get a PC prenup. Get a PC yeah. prenup and donate <laughs> to our Patreon. <laughs> and we will personally give you a, a verified, a Twitter yeah. verified um, um, prenup. Every $100 patron gets a free PC prenup. You know, if you, if you have a Twitter check mark, you are you cannot be uh, the victim. Listen, in, listen, in a gentlemen. Yeah. Gentlemen, yeah. you don't want to get caught with your pants down. Any second, uh, one of these succubi could come into your life and sweep you into an illicit marriage. That is why, Speaking right now, which, before succubus, you find yourself, awesome monster. 
Okay, but, 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 but that's true. Succubus are great, as are Incubi, <laughs> but that's gay. Uh, uh, but uh, before you get yourself in that situation, young men, you want to be donating $100 monthly to the PCP <laughs> so that you have that PC prenup ready to go at any moment when you need to fucking drop that hoe who's trying to drain you of all that cash. You need to do this, gentlemen. We're trying to protect you from yourselves. R remember, here. give Don't us your all your money you. before a woman can steal it from you. Get, if, <laughs> if, 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 if you don't have any money left, then she can't take it, can just, she? Just consider the PCP. CP, your personal bank that you cannot get any money out of. This Just way. Think if you don't have way. any money left after the alimony, how are you going to pay the PCP? Yeah, yeah. We exactly. wield, your, wield your PC prenup against women like a cross against the undead. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> wear, wear, it around, wear it around your neck. Uh, get a screen times, cap. Like, Print like a rosary. Out. Print out the confirmation of your $100 pledge to the PCP and wear it as a badge of honor. Wear it like a sheriff's badge. Cut it into a little star, a Jewish star, in Auschwitz camp, and wear it the, the way they did to protect themselves from, you know, uh, uh, the bad things. Uh, 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 a bride is walking down the aisle, then, then the husband changes the music to the procrastinator's theme song at the last moment, yeah. announcing that he got a prenup <laughs> behind her back. Oh, destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. Um... We, we, we did it. We tackled yeah. the ultimate monster. Yeah, Thank I God. I think we're just, done. Just one, no, one more we're, thing. No, we're one nowhere more thing. One more thing. Done. Okay, one okay. More thing. Go ahead, Mage. Like, mm -hmm. a, a, another cool monsters are, like, mm -hmm. the OG angel designs. Because, Ooh, like, oh, shit. Oh, my favorite. True, How could I have forgotten? True. Yeah, they're, they're so they're, cool. They're even realer than real. They're 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 beyond the scale. They're post real. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're more real than things that actually exist. <laughs> I think they, my like, favorite they just, one is like, exist in a plane uh -huh, beyond uh -huh. beyond comprehension. Wow. Um, they have a million heads and a billion eyes. Oh yeah, the ring within, with, rings within rings with billion eyes on them. That's like uh, what yeah, was and it? they're all like you, flaming you know, and shit. You know, I was I was skeptical, but but I That's googled original opening. angels, and you know what? You're right. These are the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm trembling my fucking boots <laughs> right now. Listen, listen, guys. Disgusting. Uh, the, the popular versions of, of angels that people are familiar today that are just like pretty people with wings that were like made famous during like you know the the. I, I don't even know, like Greek in times, you know, when people were making, you know, whatever, the fucking popes were painting them and shit, the fucking Sistine Chapel and all that. That's I not the real shit in the Bible. I wasn't sure if we were talking about angels from Evangelion because we're that fucking weeb. Oh, so those like, are pretty are sick too. About? I like those. I like the, the, the design. My favorite is the, uh, what is it, an octohedron? The octohedron? Yes. I forget which name. It's Ramlethal or something. Ramlethal. Whatever one it is. That's the best character from Guilty Gear. Also. I think that might be the same name. Monster. I gotta Google that. Uh, but yeah, she's a sick monster too. She's got she's got that brown skin like yep. a monster, <laughs> and yep. just she's she's a perfect tanned goddess with white hair with big old shark teeth that will literally bite your dick off. Exactly. It's awesome. I can't Fucking find sick. any images of of original angels. I don't know what we're looking at. Oh oh um, here I'll I'll show you I'll show you. Wait. What? What? I I tried I tried searching for Ophanim. And it automatically completed to Ophanimon, the Digimon form. <laughs> yeah! Digimon confirmed better than Pokemon! Oh, and by the way, the, the, um, the octahedron um, um, in Evangelion is called Ramiel. Ramiel, I was mistaken. Uh, uh, God, gross. there's just too many. There's just too many fucking good ones. Uh, just Google it, people. Just Google it. The, the, it's incredible. I tried. So it wouldn't sick. work. Nate, well, Nate, Nate using idea. this, the tried, the tried and true Chank Uger argument of just Google it. All right. Well, well here's That's here's true. one pretty That's good true. one. That's <laughs> true. Uh, doop doop doop. This this is my favorite. Whoa. Yes. Oh yeah, That's I was gonna. Whoa. I was gonna, Whoa. I was gonna look See, that up one. Yeah, that's my cause, favorite cause, as well. Because and the thing is, these these things are in addition to being awesome, they are like the wheels of God's chariot. Like is this like he, straight like, up biblical? The, yeah. Please Rowan's, describe this I for our listeners. It's, it's a, please describe it. Beautiful, I think. Um, but the okay, the thing about it. The thing about it, like, the reason why angels are always depicted as, like, people with wings is because, like, mm -hmm. in the Bible, angels appear in the form of people. Right, like, I think, right, right, is, right. Is it Jacob that, like, wrestles an angel or something? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some, someone sick, wrestles an angel, and, and that angel is a guy. But, like, that's not what he really looks like. He's appearing as a human. But, mm -hmm. like, in, in the Bible, they appear they generally appear as humans. But that's okay. not what they really look like. Uh, this is what they really look like. And they're fucking, here, I'll, I'll, I'll find another one. I'll find okay. a seraphim. And to, Look, just the Bible to describe just got, like, at least cherubs. Cherubs, cooler. I think, used to have, like, <laughs> yeah. like oh. you, you know how cherubs are depicted as, like, little babies or not? Mm -hmm. But that, that's not how they used to be. I think they had three heads, one human, one lion, one bull or something. Yeah, yeah, they were, like, mm -hmm. um, they were, like, Why did um, we make the Bible so uncool? Manticore. We, no, I don't the know, one man. With, they were, like, It's because they babied it up. 
Uh, uh, all this fucking been advertising Christianity in the Bible has really made me thirsty to hunker down with the, with the good book one of these days. <laughs> He's making it sound yeah. so so fucking you know uh, advertise. It's, it's if you so want the boring parts, it is. Yeah, <laughs> I've been wanting to take that the quest. I've really owed it to myself uh, to yeah. actually read the thing. I oh, love is this that. like the Thousand Wings or whatever? That, that's the Seraphim. I love Seraphim. Yeah. Oh my god. My my fa- so, wait. Let me find the Metatron. My favorite angel. Guys, guys, the you got to describe these because the people listening did not know what the fuck you're. They're posting. in the show so, notes. Click on the fucking description. Look, it, nobody wants to have to do They want to hear that. Look, it, it, it's a bunch of wings arranged around a central eye. Like, that's all you have to say. Just we're we're done. I did. You, they don't know what we're talking about. They can't match images to what we're fucking speaking oh, of. Oh, God. Well, you just described it. Now Google Seraphim and find an image because... that matches your description. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. This okay, looks anyway. like... Uh, this, this is like furry porn. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. This is uh, sick, this, but this we need to stop this This one does look like someone on DeviantArt made it, okay, and probably like, they I, did. I, it looks too modern to be like an This one looks a little too fanfic yeah. in my yeah, opinion. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fucking... Yeah, I'm sorry. There's there's not, like, a lot of the pictures of the Metatron are kind of stupid and, like, new mm-hmm, agey mm-hmm. looking, and I hate them. So the Metatron needs to just, like, go to God and be like, can you send us some photos, please? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can we, can you can link we get us a message to your, to uh, Can you link us to your Instagram? Yeah. Fucking, sure, right? when, when, when MatPat gave a copy of Undertale to the Pope, he should have said, dude, can you please do me a favor? Just get some, some Snapchats from the angels up in heaven. Please ask them. I could really use those. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. Oh, well. Instead, they played Undertale. That's I sent cool. you my confessions. No answer me. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we're we're that's it. We're done. Thank you, angels. Uh, I worship you forever. Good. Wait, we didn't Excellent. talk. We didn't Let's... talk about the most dangerous monster of all, our fathers. <laughs> no. I was. That's you know. No. You're not wrong. No. They bear such oh God, power. We're an hour already. Such power. Yeah. I can't we, believe it. it. I feel it's like weird, we've right? said nothing. We, we've said, <laughs> oh, this we have That's like this was every the worst PCP. Topic. What are you talking about? Viewers, uh, I want to let you all know that I that I fought tooth and nail for this topic to not happen, so you don't have me to blame. I'm absolved of all guilt in what you have just listened to this today. This is the greatest podcast yeah, of all they're time. Gonna yeah, be, this is the best. Back, this is the best episode we've ever done. Yes. You're going to look like an <laughs> idiot now. You got you got it. You got to hold lines like that until after the hot take from the audience comes in, mm-hmm. so you can play both sides to your. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. You know he's yeah, he's right about that. Cool. Uh, but on fathers, they are the most powerful creatures in our lives for mm-hmm. sure, and they have the most ability to and, destroy and they, us at and their will. And they do represent. Yeah, they represent our most primal fears. Indeed, indeed. You, you, the you wrath know what they of the say. father and the vagina the, of the mother. The, the, the four most gross. powerful fields are, are fires, thunders, tornadoes, and fathers. And, or something like that. <laughs> They're a walking natural disaster. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Enough. Enough. It's time to transition, everybody. Oh, sweet poor fags. Head on over and check the hashtag AskPCP on the Twitter. Jesus Christ. Uh, you guys are really dropping the ball if, you, if you're asking us questions on Twitter and not in our premium indeed, Procrastinators indeed. Patreon Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. Jesus> <laughs> That's how little we give a fuck about you. We're not even going to finish the statement we started <laughs> indeed but we do love the people in our patron discord oh, uh who we ask questions to we've got a you know a separate thing just for questions there that we will refer to uh, but let me get the pity question here from the, the the twitter real quick this is from at a mundane critic and the question is and more of a request it is define meme define meme, meme is it just m- me- yes. meme is a joke that isn't funny that, oh, that's right. my that's official definition. definition it's of a me- viral I, joke that isn't funny. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, okay. I've led I've led this crusade on arm mm-hmm. retrieval. The the, the the Bible the Bible retold for the for the modern era, where we need to make a <laughs> distinction. When we think things are funny, refer to them as jokes. When we think things aren't funny, refer to them as memes. That that that's my that's my official doctrine, and I try to implement that whenever I can. If there's one thing that disgusts me about the word meme, it's when it's used to mean like a still image of some quote unquote funny thing happening with text on the top and bottom. Yeah. And that is a meme. Now I, that, I, I hate that. But like that's kind of what it me yeah. people mean when they say it now. Like I don't I don't Normos, think I don't true. I think that I think we've lost that battle. Yeah. You're you're it, right. You're yeah. Right. It's a shame. I do. It's gone. Question, We've lost. Question that, that's the, what a meme question, is. Question from, from uh, the, the Discord mm-hmm. chat: Western dragons versus. Who's it from? Uh, ends. 
Western dragons okay. v- versus Eastern dragons, which are better? I say Western dragons. Eastern dragons. Western dragons are fucking awful, and I hate them so, I love them. so, they, so they're much. They're cool lizards with, with giant wings, and they breathe fire, and Eastern dragons are just long noodles. If uh, I uh, see... Western dragons for the win. If I see a single other castle, <laughs> knight, brown, earth, or dragon, I will fucking fly off the handle. Western fantasy are the dregs of all fictional settings. Western <laughs> fantasy is the opposite of creativity and the graveyard for all potentially good ideas. Listen, I, when I was young, I definitely felt burned out. I read a lot of fantasy novels as a kid. I definitely got burned out on like Western fantasy, specifically like Western dragons. But then I got more into D&D, which now I don't really like so much. But the point is, I read the Monster's Manual, and I read like all the books, and... The, like, I would say that on average, Eastern Dragons are just, like, they're cooler by default. But when you've got a really, like, majestic and, like, dignified-looking, like, sick-ass ancient worm, elder, like, gold or red or white dragon or something, and they're just, like, so fucking wise and so woke to the world, they are so aesthetic and sick, and I love them. Agreed. I think that they're awesome. they're the fucking best. Dragons like, yeah, there is, look no. disgusting. They're fucking awesome. All, no, all, no dragon no. can look good. Do you the, need to read the, the monster's they, fucking manual, dude. You didn't you need, need to read the Draco Nomicon, dude. Exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> dial this fucking hill. Look, look at this. If you think this looks fucking good, then you then you have brain damage. Look, this one looks a little goofy, but the ones in the monster's manual shit look sick. Like, look at how he, this guy looks a little silly. Look at his silly like smile and his like goofy face and shit. And his stupid. head's a little too big and his body's so a little too stupid. small. This looks like a young adult dragon, but an ancient worm. Oh, they're so cool. Sh- sh- what, what's, a good, what's a good-looking dragon, then, Munch? What, what kind of dumb, noodly fuck yeah. do you think is sick? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 have exact, I have the exact one. Fucking shout-out to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston hosting mm. The, mm. The, the, the the red dragon painting that is fucking huge, and it will and it like takes like two cars to, to fucking have it open. Hold on, here, let me get this. Right, Munchie man. loves Japan, period. I hey, do. Bro, I literally do. I don't. I don't trust weeaboos. All right. I gotta. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta show me the receipts on this shit. Let me get this shit. Fucking here, okay. here, here. Fuck, fucking look at this. You fucking pieces of shit. Look at this. The fucking red <laughs> dragon. It's huge. Um. Okay. I mean, that looks sick. Mm, look how big uh, that shit that is. Looks, looks really nice, but stupid. not the dragon. The dragon that those noodle dragons will never look cool to me. They're the fucking only, the real long. One... You can just whack them. You can just wha- you can just chomp them off. That literally looks. Look at... May just looks exactly the same as one Munchie just linked. Like, the facial <laughs> proportions like... are identical. Look at um, like this guy. That, and that, this... what May just linked looks dope as hell. It looks great. That's are not even an argument. Me? It looks no, good. No, that looks gay as fuck. No, it I, looks I, fucking cool. Um, I would be I this guy's like fucking this one friend. Just linked, the only honestly. the only time an Easter Here's dragon looked of kind of cool was Shenron from Dragon Ball, and that's because I was a little kid and it was Shenron cool. does look cool. Other oh, than he, that, he's swole. Not cool. Look he at is this swole. fucking dragon bleeding. Look at this dragon bleeding. Can Western no. dragons bleed? Oh, he looks no. Concerned. No, Western dragons <laughs> don't bleed concerned. because they're fucking gods. Dude, look at his big goofy anime eyes. Exactly. What the fuck is the worst? This? The worst. Okay. No, it's fucking. It's aesthetic. <laughs> okay, no. uh, enough. Can we please move on to the next question? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, who wants to? Who's got one from the thing? I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh, go oh, 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 oh! Here, here's like a quick, a, a quick one that I want to uh, mention uh, from okay. the Patreon Lounge. Bajin Weeaboo, are you going to smoke weed at Radcon? If a, if I even see a <laughs> single marijuana flower at Radcon, <laughs> I know that the entire building will be decimated and disintegrated before my vast power. If I see a single, <laughs> a, a, as as the children call it, blunt, I will uh-huh. fly off the handle well did you all right take notes i I guess we've been warned (laughs) listen okay listen to this incredible question from at leo j larkin from the twitter another pity question if you could feed a length to anyone living or dead real or fictional who would it be feed feed a what Feed a length, like a length of something unspecified. So you get to come up with a th- the length of whatever you want to feed to whoever you want to feed it to. Like Real a length of wire? Like a length of rope? Like a length of fruit roll-ups, perhaps? Ooh. A length of sausage? And then I would you feed know. a length of fruit roll-ups to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something similar. Yeah, like, like fuck everybody else. <laughs> um, nah. 
I'd like to feed like a length of sausages to like you know like like Shenron for example like he looks like he'd really appreciate like a long noodly sausage link chain you know that's like, that's like cannibalism that'd be cool though. he is a long fucking sausage <laughs> oh, be, or length of like offended by that a single very long noodle to like an Asian man and watch him just like slurp it up over that's like generations racist. as he I goes agree. like from. <laughs> um, yeah, it'd be sick. It'd be fucking sick. Uh, okay, that's it. I, I, I would oh, like oh. to feed the length of of a video game cartridge of Donkey mm-hmm. Kong Country Two to my Nintendo Wii for it to play. That's good. You know, I'd like to feed the length of this podcast to the dustbin of history. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, well, let's do to to, let's... To, to 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 feed a length of a hundred dollar bills to my wallet. That's oh, that's good. That's good. Yes. Okay, let's do like one or two more questions okay. from the lounge. Uh, let me go see what we got. Uh-huh. Mer- Meron Pan. Meron Pan. Um, Meron Pan. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What pocket mm-hmm. monster type is each PCP man- m- member? Ooh. Type, huh? Yeah, that's a I, nuanced question. Mm. I know my. You're type. all pure fairy, and I am steel. No, <laughs> that's, no, that's no. The I'm, I'm dark fairy. <laughs> nee. Okay, that sounds um, right. That sounds right. Ghost ice. Hmm. Uh. I'm uh, steel bug. I don't know. That's just my favorite. I'm just saying my favorite one. <laughs> I'm 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 normal. I'm just normal. Yeah, you look like normal. <laughs> normal. You look like a burger. Uh, I'm what about you can have Tom. Me on your team. Tom's definitely dark, anarcho capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've graduated from communism. Thank God. <laughs> at long last. At long last. Well, <laughs> Finally, the and cap master race. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. I think like Digi would be like psychic, something. Psychic dark, maybe. Uh, s- hmm. Psychic ground. Ground. You think? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's plant type because he's something. smoking all the weed. Oh, actually. Oh, of course. He could he'd be, be psychic he'd be, grass. He'd be grass fire because of that dank weed <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's always blazing. Yeah. I think and, uh, uh-huh. maybe I'm just biased because of his color palette, but I want to give Davu uh-huh. pure flying. Pure flying. I like that. I like That's an aesthetic flying flying choice. Intellectual heights. There's I nothing I hate more flying. than like normal flying types when they could just be flying and like just please just do that, everyone. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's only one. There's a... um. Not thunderous, not oh, that land. B- tornadoes. Tornadoes is the only pure flying. Oh, that's right. The balloon is ghost flying. And I, let me say, I want to do uh, Gib as well. What is Gib? Gib is, Gib is. Gib is silly. Gib's rock Gib is... type because he loves castles so much. He can I be think part Gib is. I think Gib is normal. Hi, he's hybrid normal type. What is that? Like two normals? Is no, that no, what like you're saying? No, no, he's normal and something else, but I don't know what the something else he's is. He's normal and rock type. Maybe electric? Electric? Because he plays sick riffs on his guitar, dude. I could see him being la, 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 la. I can't. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking grass, but that's only because of the color palette that he likes using with the Yeah, I, I was sort of thinking grass for him as well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. His hair is like a bush. Hmm. Yeah. Like that, like that chest guy in One Piece. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. And, and what about and I feel like and maybe Jesse would be He's something like a tangula. Like, I don't know. Oh, the tangula is normal. Oh. Jesse's a fighting type. Oh, he's definitely fighting type. Uh, yeah. He's got to be like fighting. Oh uh, shit! I don't know. Fighting normal? He's, I don't he's, know. He's fire and fighting. Fire and fighting. Yeah, why the fuck not? Fire that works. There's too many of those. You're right. That is too many. Fuck that. Too, Let's too pick many a, a better one. Of those, Jesse doesn't have to be a starter. And there's too many bug. There's too many bug steel too, for that matter. <laughs> is it? Really? Oh, well, okay. I don't I, maybe the Gen one or two. Yeah, I don't actually know what I'd actually be. No, Nobody. No, it Jesse's doesn't matter if we have too much type. of those. Like this is what we think... are. What we each Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. I kind of think fighting fairy works for Jesse because he's think, like it, I think yeah. it works. That's he's oh, kind of a softy on the inside, you know. Oh, yeah. He's tough yeah. on the outside, that's you know. I like, I like fighting that. fairy type for Jesse. I like that. He, he, I like that a lot. Cool. And uh, whatever, I'm sick of bug anyone? steel. No, that's everybody. That's everybody. I think. Um. All right. We did it. Uh, well, congrats, that's congratulations. Now, uh, now you all know this is this is canon. Put this on the wiki. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, I expect uh, it updated within five minutes of this being uploaded. So yeah, I, I, I think I think <laughs> the final we'll question the we want to answer probably uh, Happy D from from the Patreon Lounge. Thoughts mm. on Monster Energy drinks? Um, oh, disgusting! Them. Excellent. Monster they taste like diesel. I used uh, the, to be the, a huge the, the, fan. The, the, Believe it or mm. not, back in the college days, but I graduated to Red Bull and Rockstar and haven't looked back. Mm. The no sugar okay. kind, uh, the mo- the Monster Ultra series is my favorite of all. 
Hey, in case you guys haven't seen, Ben here is, is quite the connoisseur of monster energy drinks, having just made an art piece using the cans, right? Yes. That was monster, right? Um, the big old... Yeah, I made mm -hmm. Vulpix for Jackie out of like 50 fucking monster cans, meticulously I had no idea that cut was monster cans. into one, yeah, it is, <laughs> into one inch pieces of metal and then like linked together with a hole punch and tiny metal key rings. How did uh, you keep that a secret? So How did you keep that a secret? That's what I'm well, wondering. Well, see, because, like, I, I started working on it a long time ago. Like, I started working mm. on it, like, almost a year ago. Oh, but, okay. But it kind of, like... It kind of like lost momentum, but then our anniversary came up, and I was like, mm -hmm. this, "I think this is the time to finish it." Yeah, uh, okay. So I did. I pushed through because, like, That's I'd already—I like, mean, I'd already a... put—I'd already put all that work in. Like, I had yeah, to. Do right. it. I was like, Weird "Now's the time." Of, like, if I'm ever art gonna faggy and like pop artness at the same time. I I love it. I love it. Made of fucking monster cans. It's <laughs> oh, that's it's awesome. great. It's 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 really it's something that uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd I'd want it in my house. <laughs> You probably had to like map out like pixel by pixel, like every I color you were going to I absolutely did. So. I have like yeah. I have like files. Um, yeah. I had to like I had to like divide the original sprite into its pixels, find out mm. how many of each color I needed, how and then like estimate how many cans that was going to be, uh, <laughs> okay. separate them all, and then like I took the thing and I split it into its vertical sections, and then I would link together one vertical section at a time, um, and then Sick. I would connect the, them by the top, and then I, I yeah. Um, it was it was labor and and energy intensive. It sure looks like it. Set. Well, but it's sick. Off. Uh, okay, you know, there's one last question we have to answer from AJ Shoop here. That's just thoughts on Munster cheese with a little O W O face. <gasps> oh, um, oh. Hey, I'm, I love cheese. I am. So I'm. Uh, I'm not a white person mm -hmm. because I don't really like cheese that much. What? I love cheese, but it is the forbidden snack. Well, I cannot do it. I, I like it, but I don't like it that much. And I like I'm totally cheese on willing. Pizza. And mm, I'm totally sure. willing to forego it. Like, I often get food with no cheese on it because it's like, well, cheese has a lot of extra calories in it. Indeed. And I don't like Indeed. cheese that much, so I'm willing to that. lose the cheese because do I don't pizza care. Do you pizza without it. the cheese? Well, sure. I mean, you pizza get uh, is like all bakery pizza cheese. or something, you know. Oh, so that's no cheese. The bakery pizza is like a different thing. Or you get Greek pizza, love, whatever. I love, all right. I love cheese. Uh, sh shout out to Monterey Jack, the best cheese and the cheese they use at Chipotle. Oh, we ate a lot of Monterey Jack as youngsters. That was yeah, good it was stuff. my favorite. It was my favorite the, cheese. The best cheese I have learned as a connoisseur. I do love cheese. They have like cheese little things at Whole Foods all the time. You can just like grab and eat with like crackers and shit. Uh, uh, fucking. Extra, extra, extra sharp cheddar. The sharper, the better. I yep. want my tongue to fucking bleed and slice and dice on the sharpness <laughs> mm -hmm. of that fucking cheddar. God, I love it. It is so succulent. It's the but best. I don't, but I've never had Munster. Or if I have, I don't remember what it was like. I, I Munster I is kind of weird and it's not very good. It's the first uh, time I, I'm hearing about it, honestly. For shame. It, 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 it's, 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 it's white. That's a problem. Yeah. Already. Yeah. 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 Not starting off on a good foot. We need some diversity in our cheese. Okay, enough. That's it. All right. Thank you, everybody. I think we're good here. Uh, thanks for listening, people. God, um, let me out. <laughs> uh, remember, remember, um, Hang on. We've, the Kickstarter is still going on to fund yep. Radcon. And that's right. You'll, we'll have idiocy it. for a week straight. Let yeah, have at least there's like two weeks left, I think, at this point. So everybody, please get the guy. There's probably like a week and a half at this point. Guys, seriously, remember fucking Radcon three. Make it happen. First of all, just for the content you will make fucking lectures from most of us. We have lectures already planned and ready to go. Uh, Tom, Guilty Gear lore. Me, I'm telling you right now. I don't know if I said it. It'll be it's a Final Fantasy lecture, everybody. It's gonna be goofy. Oh, it's gonna um, be crazy. I don't know if I've said this, but I'm do I'm gonna do a lecture on the on the lore of Tales Gets Trolled. Incredible. That's my plan. Incredible. It, 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 this is the best. This is straight up the best content out of Radcon. Everybody knows it. It's gonna be the tightest fucking shit. Uh, I, 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 I will amazing. also be doing a lecture. I will be doing a lecture on 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 spirituality. Could you do, please do a lecture on um, uh, on Catcher in the Rye? Because I'm not smart enough to like understand like what's <laughs> well, going on in that well, story. Well, it all starts with the Great Gatsby. That's what I meant. Like, the Great, great Gatsby. Uh, Catcher in the Rye gets started. Yeah. We got to start with 101. You can't start with like 301 with Catcher in the Rye. You know, <laughs> basic yeah. shit first. This is okay. Th this is uh, how you get smart. It is, is you read the classics, like you know, To Kill a Mockingjay and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so everyone, please give to the Kickstarter. Support Radcon 3. We really want it to happen. Be, be lovely. And beyond that, if you just don't give a shit and you just want to support us in general uh, and get access to uh, the bonus episodes, uh, there is a new one out now that has came out like a week ago or so. 
uh, fucking ultimate. Gamergate versus the 2016 presidential United States election. Like, it, it's, it's as holy good as you're shit. Imagining. It was it's great. Honestly, there's, there's really only one word for it. Transcendent. Kino. Mm-hmm. Fucking Kino. It's incredible. It was mm-hmm. the best po- episode of the bonus episodes so fucking far without question. Mm-hmm. God, it was incredible. Uh, everyone go listen. It's as good as it I sounds. Was, I and was that honored is, to have been a part of it. Yes. Same. One that is for $5 patrons. Indeed. $5 patrons get access to all that shit. Uh, you, and that's it. Please give us more, your money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also got some shirts. You want to click the Redbubble link? Go buy them. They're on Redbubble. They're cool. PCB logos and whatnot. Buy some mugs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, go listen to the podcast if you care to on iTunes and Google Play. Our friend Tom here takes care of that shit. I do. And uh, th- th- that's it. That's it, everybody. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you again next week with some more shit. Uh, give money to the Kickstarter. I love you. Time to goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. 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 to be working right now I'm supposed to